If you want to know more about respawning stuff, then go and check out the video I've done taking a look at the resource respawn timers. A lot of you guys asked for the bugs, so here you go. Big shout out once again to Spicy, aka Invite, and the rest of the data mining crew. If you find this video useful, do leave a like. It helps show you more of my content. The most important bug respawn timers. So the good old Black Ox Beetle, probably one of the most important creatures in the game once you've actually got to the end game. You need their horns obviously to go ahead and craft your own supreme upgrades once you get the recipe obviously from Mulder Castle. So how long do they respawn? I've got some interesting news. Black Ox Beetles here in the trenches, they respawn every 24 hours. So you only have to come back every day and you should pretty much find some. There's normally two or three around this area often with another one higher somewhere in the grasslands and two in the trench. But that changes for where you are on the map. The other locations that you find Black Ox Beetles, there's at least three or four sometimes inside the undershed area. These only respawn every 48 hours, so two days. Likewise, the one that you find at the far edge of the upper pond, this also takes 48 hours to respawn. And then when you've cleared out some of the Black Ox Beetles that roam around near the wheelbarrow and through the jungle area, that's 72 hours or three in-game days. Looking for wolf spider parts? Well, 72 hours almost everywhere in the yards, this is when they respawn, except for on top of the termite den, where they actually respawn every 48 hours. You'll find wolf spiders roaming the steps all along this side with their actual den here, not to mention underneath the rake rock. There's one in the sandbox, two underneath the barbecue grill, at least one, sometimes two on top of the termite den, two inside the undershed area, two in and around the oak tree, and one or two that patrol near the oak slab, as well as near the wetlands. Not to mention one that sometimes lives underneath the deck here too. These guys patrol far and wide, often going all the way across over to the mysterious machine, so don't be too surprised if you run into them there. And the last spot also in this top corner here, you might find one, Likewise, just behind the deck area where the Javamatic is also one. There's also one pretty close to the broken fallen stump area in a small trench too. 72 hours, three days once you've killed them. When it comes to the infected variant, these guys respawn every three days. There's very specific points obviously that they spawn. Here underneath the deck, underneath the oak tree, they'll swap over for the wolf spiders that are there. So you always usually find one. And in the berry bush area, you'll also find another wolf spider spawn now. Purely for bragging rights and maybe just to avoid them, this is where to expect them if you turn off the haze. They usually take 24 hours once you turn the haze to actually spawn. When Grounded first came out with the 1.0 update, Black Widow spiders were rumoured to be every 14 days due to in-game testing. Turns out that's been changed on nerf now and they should respawn every 7 days. And that's across the whole map with the only difference being the Undershed. The one that you encounter in the Undershed doesn't respawn. All Weavers and all Weaver Juniors, these take 48 hours absolutely everywhere except one location. For some reason on the edge of the sandbox, they take 72 hours to respawn. Since we're covering spiders, we might as well do the diving bell. These are 24 hours all inside this part of the pond. But once you go deeper into where you have to turn on the power for the laboratory, you're looking at around 48 hours respawn. If you're looking for a green shield bug, of course, this guy actually respawns every 72 hours. Remember, you get two that spawn on top of this box. These guys don't actually respawn once you've killed them. And then you've got one near the wheelbarrow. So three in-game days. They're smaller little cousin. Often you find quite a lot of them near the haze and dry grasslands areas here. And there's a few inside the grasslands towards here. These actually respawn every 48 hours. When it comes to ladybirds and ladybugs, well the ladybirds obviously have great concentration under the shed near the bike, usually three or four of these guys, and they respawn every 72 hours. However, other areas of the yard, particularly all around in the jungle areas following the flower bed slabs, these respawn every 48 hours. And the humble ladybug that you can find all over the map, but particularly some near the oak tree, all through the grasslands, as well as underneath the picnic table, they're also 48 hours. And interestingly, infected ladybugs respawn every 24 hours, except the ones inside obviously the haze lab, which don't respawn once you've killed it. 
Now, for some reason, if you really want to know how often tiger mosquitoes spawn, maybe you're going to go on a mad killing spree to give yourself a little bit of peace for just a couple of days. It's actually two days, 48 hours in game time everywhere. So that includes obviously around the upper pond and around the stump area. Of course, the humble normal mosquito, you'll find plenty of them in the grasslands as well as the wetlands towards the picnic table. They actually spawn every five days, 120 hours. So if you did clear them all out from a certain area, they shouldn't respawn for a whole five days. Also, don't forget if you're a brand new player somehow watching this video, you shouldn't really encounter a mosquito until after you've handed in one of the first science chips to help new players not get owned every time they go near exploring the oak tree. This is where you'll find them in abundance, as well as the wetlands, as I mentioned here as well in the second wetlands, and there's plenty in the undershed sinkhole too not to mention around the tarpaulin area on the wood pile. And for some reason, if you really want to kill a bunch of spiny water fleas, or in the upper yard pond, they respawn every 48 hours, and in the undershed sinkhole, it's 24 hours. Maybe if there's an actual weapon that gets made with some of the bug parts from it in future, if they change it, this will come in handy. Bombardier beetles, of course, you need to farm these bad boys up if you want lots of ovens. These are 48 hours everywhere. You've got two here near the side wall, near the milk carton. You'll find another one or two in the trail gulch. A couple on some rocks over on this side of the map. And usually one or two near the franken line here. And very occasionally you'll also find a couple on the edge of the hedge. Scarabs, of course, mainly for their twinkling shells. It's 72 hours. That's three in-game days. Everywhere in the yard. The main points being under the deck here around these steps and a patrol around here. Sometimes a few inside the actual trench itself. Usually one here and usually one that roams along these steps or close around here. And sometimes also one around here. You do often get one that goes in and out of the termite den as well. But the biggest and now easiest place to get them is the undershed, unless things get nerfed or changed. Instead of 72 hours, it's actually only 48 hours. So two in-game days and you're guaranteed to get at least six Sometimes it may be up to 10. Of course, I'm talking about twinkling shells, not the scarabs themselves, and you find them in an exposed pipe with the quarter hanging out in the undershed. Now, dust mites you find pretty much here, as well as obviously the trenches. You might want to be farming up their fuzz. These actually take around 48 hours. You also find some in the undershed as well, and it's about the same time. These guys, when they're here, take 48 hours. I didn't bother asking or looking into termites themselves because there's just so many of them. But don't forget, as well as the wood pile, there is also a new smaller termite hill that you can now find some in inside the trench entrance here. And if you're wondering about the termite king, it's meant to respawn every three days. Bit of a problem during early access, lots of problems with it not respawning, and it previously used to be around seven, but yeah, now it's three days. One that you might want to know a bit more though is roly polies. Every 48 hours, the roly polies will spawn across the yard with only a couple of differences. You usually get one roly poly that will spawn around this area. These actually respawn every 24 hours for some reason. And the sickly roly polies that you find in the far corner here and around here, these are 72 hours, so three in game days. Again, you'll find plenty of roly polies in other places too. Here at the research terminal here on the flower bed, you'll find some. Usually one around this area too on the picnic table, right here where I'm just showing now, near the bike and the upper shed and you may find one or two scattered around inside the jungle areas. If you're looking for moths, and of course you'll find one on top of Moldock's castle, the wheelbarrow, and on top of some of the lights inside the upper yard, plus one on top of the stump area. These respawn every four days, 96 hours. Do bear in mind though, that they only hover above where they spawn very small amounts. The rest of the time they're sleeping, they don't always just come out at night time. So you may want to have to go right up there to see if they've spawned or not. And if you're looking to make a whole ton of antline armor or just using it to go ahead and make tons of glue, as you do get quite a lot of body parts from killing them and clearing out their sandbox if you're doing it properly. And especially if you're looking to go and harvest a whole bunch of salt, then pit antlions, they respawn every 48 hours. The ones that roam around the sandbox are every 24. 
So I spoke about this before in previous videos, so I'll rattle it off now though, but red ant eggs usually take 24 hours once you've killed a whole bunch of them inside the anthill. Yes, you can find some of the ant eggs earlier, but if you really are running out to make bombs or whatever, go and kill a whole bunch of them. Now that should be the same for black ant eggs, but as we know, there's some sort of issue with it because they just don't spawn as much or regularly as the red ant ones. And even some of you guys have been showing me there might even be fire ant eggs if you can find them, but they have no use in the game. And also a fun fact that I realised I should look up afterwards is fireflies. I assume they spawn every night as we see them come down and if you kill them all it just respawn the next. But no, they've got one of the longest. If you were to kill every firefly or big chunks of them it might take up to 5 nights for them to respawn. And although ticks you won't need too many to make some of the stuff that you can do, they do spawn every 48 hours. You find them in abundance in the upper yard highlands as well as of course near the stump. Now if you're wondering why I'm not mentioning about bees, again it's one of them really common ones. Yes they dart around and hard to kill, but as long as you go over to the picnic table, you should never really be able to run out of killing them, so there's no real need to look into how often they respawn. Technically not a creature that you can kill or harvest, but the crow does fly around the whole yard, and it's got a 25% chance of dropping feathers wherever it lands or the path that it goes in. There are some guaranteed spots that you'll always find some feathers when you started a fresh game, Places like inside the haze trenches, you'd normally come across some, particularly inside this hole right here near the rake rock. But once you start harvesting them, then yeah, keep an eye out for the crow and go to all the places that he'd normally land, like the picnic table, the science tripods, the tripods, and of course the bird bath. Don't forget also the pagoda around the back of it is a good spot to find some too. So as I said, or should say, take this all with a pinch of salt. You'd have to kill every single twinkling scarab and not miss any to guarantee that the next lot would spawn exactly when I say. If you miss one or two, then you'll always maybe find some on the resource scanner running around. But for sure, some creatures like the bombardier beetle, you could do one run all the way around the yard, kill every single one, and yeah, it will take them amount of days for them to respawn. Likewise, the black widows. So if it's been useful, if it has, like I said, hit the like button and let me know what kind of guides you want to see next. Until next time, rat bags, laters.